how do we start off for building a great product right so bahut simple si case study karte hain yaar let's assume swiggy wanted to build this single order मल्टीपल रेस्टोरेंट बुकिंग सिस्टम स्विगी में आप आप लोगों ने देखा होगा यार कि अगर तुम्हें एक आइसक्रीम लेनी है और बिरयानी लेनी है कैन यू बुक इट इन द सेम ऑर्डर यू कैन नॉट डू दैट राइट यू इफेक्टिवली हैव टू डू टू ऑर्डर्स एक अलग बंदा आता है एक दूसरा बंदा आता है यू कैन नॉट बुक इट बाय टू रेस्टोरेंट्स राइट बट अगर तुम्हें ये प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करनी है एंड यू बिकॉज दैट इज अ वेरी लॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम वेन एवर यू गो टू अ पार्टी यू वॉन्ट फाइव थिंग्स राइट सो वट यू डू You think of some sort of a POC. POC का क्या मतलब होता है कि पहले सबसे पहले तुम ये फिगर आउट करते हो कि यार कि कहीं ना कहीं इस चीज की डिमांड है क्या इस चीज क्या ये चीज सच में जनता को चाहिए कि नहीं चाहिए सो वॉट पीपल डू इज यू विल गो आउट ऑफ योर सर्कल ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस सर्कल ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस का क्या मतलब होता है कि अगर किसी को पता है कि तुम ये बनाने की कोशिश कर रहे हो तो वो तुम्हें बायस्ट फीडबैक देगा लाइक like, अगर तेरा ही दोस्त है किसी या मेरा ही कोई दोस्त है राइट right? मैं उससे पूछूंगा यार ये बना लू वो बोलेगा हाँ भाई बहुत सही है बना ले किसी को बना ले you should make it right so you move out of your circle of influence and try to get feedback from outside maybe you go to some friend of yours in second year which you def- which de- definitely doesn't know ki tum kya bana rahe ho or maybe in fourth year like ki tum kya bana rahe ho and you tell him ki yaar ki agar kuch aisa hota na yaar ki if i could have ordered five different things from a single place i would have done it would that make sense to you and if you get a very positive feedback then you effectively know ha yaar demand to hai then what you do is you build some sort of a poc poc ka kya matlab hota hai ki maybe the best way to do is ki yaar kya agar tumhe app bhi nahi banana ek operational poc tumne ek bande ko hire kar liya wo banda tumhare liye kar lega jaise dukandar hota bolta sir aapko panch cheeze chahiye mera banda aage deliver kar dega right to tum wo poc karte ho proof usse ise bolte hain proof of concept which is very cheap iske liye tumhe koi development koi kuch nahi karna tumhe sirf ye dekhna hai ki agar aisi koi service exist karti hoti to janta kya usko leti ki nahi leti right then you define your measurement metrics here okay how many people are taking this how are they giving 50 rupees more for this service right and you see that whether it's something that people would pay for right then the next thing is if you have really done that proof of concept and you figure out nah, there is a demand people are willing to pay for it maybe you define it by an app you build an app because apps are used all over the place and then in terms of user value ki isme sabse zyada valuable kya tha logon ko chahiye ki ek hi jagah se multiple cheeze mile okay second cheez kya ho ki agar kisi bande ki ye value bhi ho sakti ki nahi yaar mujhe ek hi ek hi ek hi restaurant se panch cheeze chahiye lekin mujhe 30 minute ke andar chahiye so that's the second thing that they want so you prioritize the features that you build in that app बेस्ड ऑन यूजर वैल्यू की यूजर को क्या चाहिए सबसे ऊपर सबसे ज्यादा वैल्यू वाला फिर उसके बाद कम उसके बाद कम उसके बाद कम एंड यू कीप ऑन प्रायोरिटाइजिंग दम देन यू कीप टेस्टिंग रिपीटिंग रिपीटिंग इट बिकॉज ऐसा कभी नहीं हो सकता कि तुमने पहली बार बनाया यू बिल्ट इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड एवरीबडीज हैपी इट डजेंट रियली हैपन दैट वे राइट सो यू कीप ऑन इटिरेटिंग यू कीप टेकिंग फीडबैक वॉट कैन आई एड मोर वॉट कैन आई एड मोर टिल यू अचीव अ कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज कॉल्ड प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट का बेसिकली मतलब होता है व्हेन देर इज अ डिमांड इन द मार्केट एंड योर प्रोडक्ट रियली सॉल्व्स इट इन अ वेरी सस्टेनेबल मैनर राइट सो प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट इज आल्सो नोन व्हिच इज नोन इज द डिग्री टू व्हिच अ प्रोडक्ट सेटिस्फाइज अ स्ट्रांग मार्केट डिमांड यहां तक एम आई क्लियर गाइस एनी क्वेश्चन टिल नाउ डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन अनम्यूट योर Yes, sir. I have a question. Uh, can I can I know your name first? So my name is Shivam Shivam Malhotra. Uh, hey, Shivam. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, sir. So, sir, you mentioned the example of Duolingo, and now it has a really nice interface. So it makes kind of language learning like a game. I actually use Duolingo on the every day. But what I felt, and what other language learners have felt, is that Duolingo doesn't actually help you learn the language. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you start from scratch, you, it is impossible for you to learn language from the set app. So, don't you think that it kinds of kind of our counter to it? Then it's it has an illegal interface. I agree, and it's kind of like playing a game, but does not actually fulfill its function. But how, how? Why do you say that? Like, why? What's the actual logic behind that? Why do you say? Yes, that? I'll give an example. So, so I have taken three years of French from six to eight grade, right? Got it. So I have a I had a solid base because of which I could improve my language through Duolingo. But if yes. you do not have such such a base. it is almost impossible for you to learn that because duolingo throws a lot of vocabulary and lot of things unsaid and just gives you that without explaining them so you cannot actually learn 
got it see see it really depends on what the tg is like you have already 3 years of french understood but uh, it also depends on how the how you derive value from the product like let me put it this way if you want to learn guitar right and if you have 3 years of experience for learning guitar so it becomes fairly easy for you to learn guitar and go to another app and probably you use musician and you do it right but it also depends on the life cycle of the user right learning doesn't necessarily mean that you do it in one session that you should take away something from one session it also depends on a lot of consistency of the sessions like agar tum baiju ka product loge aisa thodi na hai ki mai tum do classes karoge aur tumhe mechanics aa jayega it really doesn't work that way right you have to invest that amount of time so the reason that i would have come to that part like a lot of improvements in product analytics go in that side that what is the tipping point where people actually start learning right like for facebook the vp of growth in facebook which was chamath parapatelia he said that for the tipping point for most of the users are when they make seven friends in 3 days like if you make seven friends in 3 days then typically what will happen is your network is that strong that you would not want to leave it let me give another example to you let's assume you are a very good french speaker and you make an instagram page and you have 5000 followers right would you be able to leave instagram no because the network effect it gives you fame it gives you opportunities right it gives you all of those things right but what if you only have 50 followers you can leave it tomorrow it doesn't add any value right so the point that i'm trying to put across to you is yes there might be certain set of users which might be significant who have not done seven lessons or eight lessons or 10 lessons which is their tipping point which the company might have figured out right and before that tipping point they drop off that happens with every product right that happens with any product that you specifically use like if uber in a certain area you try to book it three times and you are not able to book a cab you not take uber you would say i would talk to my father and get some uh, taxi drive service and he, i would call him at any point of time and he would come but whereas if you are able to book those three cabs seamlessly in a particular area you would use uber again and again so every you have asked a very pertinent question so every product achieves its product market fit when there is a tipping point that tipping point has to cross right if that tipping point doesn't cross you have not acquired enough value in the product that that means you have not activated yourself so it's a very interesting question that you asked like in flipkart why do people only track add to carts because add to cart is an activation metric like this guy is now interested in buying this product whereas if you just sign up with flipkart tum sign up kar lo khali unse unko farak hi nahi padta yaar tum sign up kar lo unse unko kya mila they don't know what you wanted to buy their core value is for you to buy something right so they don't know anything for you to buy so that's why they always push you yaar ye discount mil raha hai tumhe yaar isko add to cart kar lo isko add to cart kar lo kyunki then i know shivam really wants these kind of products and i can personalize his feed based on that and eventually i will move him towards conversion right so that is where product managers come in and we try to put insertions there ki yaar main isko aur enjoyable kaise banaunga main aisa kya karu ki main usko tipping point ki taraf move karne ki koshish karu so that's the answer to your question that the difference between actually users and customers is the tipping point yes not necessarily customers but you would say that it's that point when users effectively start getting value and say yes now it's valuable for me like let me give you another example agar meets nahi hota abhi right mm -hmm. now you're using meets all the time right mm -hmm. so it's giving you enough value even after corona ends now you're you're mm -hmm. acclimatized to the value of meets तुम यूज करते रहोगे करते रहोगे करते रहोगे बिकॉज दे मूव यू टू द टिपिंग पॉइंट राइट बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट्स एवर रीजन इट कैन बी एनी रीजन लाइक कोरोना हैपन और वॉट एवर हैपन बट दैट टिपिंग पॉइंट हैज नाउ अक्रूड राइट सो दैट इज वेयर एवरी पी एम हु वॉन्ट्स टू डिजाइन अ प्रोडक्ट पॉइंट वॉन्ट्स टू फाइंड आउट दैट वॉट इज दैट वन वैल्यू दैट आई कैन फिगर आउट दैट पीपल स्टार्ट यूजिंग माई प्रोडक्ट अगेन एंड अगेन अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन इट्स दैट सर्विस राइट सो दैट्स द फंक्शनल आंसर टू यू क्वेश्चन 